Hey folks, if you know me, then you know that very often I am here in these videos telling people that uh, what they've come to practice regularly, maybe they should rethink because uh, some of the conventional wisdom out there and the and the best practices are actually destructive. And so that's one of the things that we're going to be looking at today is some conventional wisdom, some common best practices, one in particular that is destructive. I'm Aaron Schmuckler, co-founder and trainer at The Yes Works, where we help companies engineer cultures where people and profits both rise. And today we're looking at a common note-taking practice that makes for poor meeting outcomes. And it's probably going on in most, if not all of the meetings that you are participating in. So here it is. That practice is taking notes on your computer. You may not be doing it. But the people that you are in meetings with, I'm almost certain, are doing this. And it is not probably a very good idea for uh, for that to continue. And so we'll, uh, I want to go through five quick reasons why. One uh, is when you take notes on your computer, instead of taking notes by hand, and you are taking notes in a distraction machine. Our computers have our social media and our email and all of the work product that we need to contribute to, all of the things that we are thinking about that we need to accomplish <laughs> or are tempted to get uh, to get into. All of those things are clamoring for our attention with bells and whistles and lights and little red dots on our laptops. And so your laptop is a distraction machine. The laptops of the people that you are in meetings with is a distraction machine. And so when we take notes by laptop, we are taking notes surrounded with distractions clamoring for our attention. The second reason that taking notes on your laptop instead of longhand with a pen is uh, is detrimental to your meeting outcomes is that when when there are when there's too much information in the notes, then the notes are ignored. And so the notes carry no value. There may be tons of value inside those notes. And if nobody reads them, then they have no value at all. And very often I see meeting notes that are just tremendous volumes, sometimes even practical transcripts of what's been said in the meeting. And so they get ignored. And because they get ignored, that value is set on fire, essentially. That leads us to number three. If you've been around me very much, you know I love the brain science. And so the brain science around taking notes by computer compared to taking notes by hand is that when you take notes by computer, you do not retain nearly as much information and you don't comprehend nearly as much, compre as much information. There is something about the process of writing it out, including the fact that you've got to kind of assimilate the information and boil it down to its essence. You're almost always writing in your own words when you're taking notes by hand because you don't have uh, as much time to record information. So you're having to pick out what is the most important. That requires that you engage with the content of what's being said and what's being shared in the meeting. So there's a much higher level of engagement with the information, which leads to greater comprehension and greater retention of the information when you are writing longhand instead of typing out the notes in a computer. Number four, back to brain science still, uh, is that there is now a lot of research that shows that somebody who is taking notes by computer is, re is participating in the meeting less. And they're participating less in two different ways. One, they participate less frequently. So there's less volume of participation. There's less quantity of participation from people who are taking notes by computer than there is from people who are taking notes by hand. There's something that gets people's attention sucked in to the computer. Uh, and so it's harder to lift your attention out of the computer and contribute to the meeting. That's one way in which the, contrib the contribution is less. And the other way is that the quality of those contributions, the quality of the participation is also less because people 
are not as creatively engaged with the content of what's going on in the meeting, just like we talked about in the last bit. So people's contribution tends to be more matter of fact, more likely to be a simple repetition of what's already been shared without people recognizing that. It's less creative and less individuated. So you get a more kind of uniform participation from uh, people who are taking notes by the, their computer, and you get a more diverse contribution from people who are taking notes by hand. So uh, that leads us to the fifth reason to take notes by hand instead of by computer. And I know this isn't really its own uh, its own reason. It's the cumulative effect. Meetings are expensive. They they take us away from the work we were doing. They bring us together. So this is a this is a lot of salaries for a lot of time with a lot of opportunity cost because we could be doing something else. Instead, we are in this meeting and. Uh, some people think, therefore, that there should be l fewer meetings, less meetings, more stuff getting done. I'm not going to express opinion about that here. I am going to say that while you are having those meetings, you want them to be as impactful and beneficial as possible because of all those costs we've talked about from salaries to the uh, people who are contributing and the, the quality, the quantity of their contribution, all of that stuff has a cumulative and even multiplicative effect. If I'm not making a great contribution, then your response to my contribution is even less valuable than it would have been if we were both uh, taking notes by hand. So my contribution was valuable and your response was uh, uh, is creativity piled on top of creativity, multiplied by creativity. So there is a significant snowballing effect when we've got a lot of people, as we do, on their laptops. And the last thing that I will share about this is that this is just as true, perhaps more true, when we are meeting remotely or having hybrid meetings, that people taking notes on their computers, the ones that we are meeting through, is even more destructive to the outcomes of the meetings than if you were to take meetings uh, meeting notes by hand. Share a photograph of what you've written on paper. Share a file of things, uh, notes taken on an, uh, a tablet with a stylus or an eye pencil. That is the way we suggest that notes be taken. And I'm looking forward to the opportunity to talk to you uh, further about ways that you can improve the outcomes, improve the quality improve the effectiveness and the fun that you have in your meetings. Once again, I'm Aaron Schmuckler, co-founder and CEO at The S-Works, where we engineer cultures that help people and profits rise and have more fun on the way. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.